Well, today in our wonderful Day in the Lord broadcast, we're looking at chapter 10 of Revelation. Uh, the uh, sixth trumpet judgment has been sounded in chapter 9. Uh, at the end, we looked at that yesterday and the day before. Uh, now we have a little bit of something different. Before we get to the seventh trumpet judgment, which will be, which will be in the next chapter, uh, we have a, a, a kind of a, a sidetrack, so to speak. And we pick it up in verse 1. I saw another strong angel coming down out of heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was on his head, and his face was like the sun, and his feet like pillars of fire. This is a powerful, powerful angel that we're seeing here. And he had in his hand a, a little book which was open, and he placed his right foot on the sea and his left on the land. So he's so large, this, this angelic being, that he is straddling uh, this, the, between the sea and the ocean, uh, the sea and the land here. And he has this book in his hand, but we're not told uh, anything about that book yet. Then in verse 3 he said, And he cried out with a loud voice, as when a lion roars, and when he had cried out, the seven peals of thunder uttered their voices. And when the seven peals of thunder had spoken, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Seal up these things which the seven peals of thunder have spoken, and do not write about them. Often we kind of skip over this. There's not much here, so it's easy to miss. But apparently there's another set of judgments, seven more judgments, uh, coming from God. We have the seal judgments so far, and we've had the trumpet judgments. We've got the bowl judgments to come. But there's another set of seven called the, the pills of thunder. So we don't know what those are. For whatever reason, as John began to write down the details of these judgments, the, uh, he was told not to write these things down, but to seal them up and not give the uh, information about them. So we don't know what they are. Uh, to guess is uh, not, not wise because God apparently doesn't want us to know what they are, but we know their judgments. Were they, were they more intense than the previous ones or the ones to come? Uh, we don't know that. Uh, whatever they are, I'm sure they're uh, very destructive and very awful, but uh, we're not told exactly what they are. Uh, then in verse 5, it says, Then the angel whom I saw standing in the sea and on the land lifted up his right hand to heaven. And he swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and the things in it, and earth and the things in it, and the sea and the things in it, that there will be uh, delay no longer. So now the angel uh, who has uh, John has been uh, seeing here at this point in time, uh, it moves on and he is he's making a declaration in the name of, of God. And he's saying there will be no longer any delay. I, we take this to mean now that, that now we're coming really towards the end of these, this judgment period, uh, the tribulation. There's more to come, but we're rushing to the end now. It, we're moving right to the latter days. And he says there will be no more delay. He's doing this all in the name of the Lord. And then he says in verse 7, But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he was about to sound, then the mystery of God is finished, and he preached to his serpent, uh, servants, uh, the prophets. So he says there's a, there's a message coming. It's going to come. It's a mystery of God. A mystery is a secret of God that has not been revealed yet. When those mysteries are revealed, they're no longer mysteries. Uh, they're revelation. But there's a mystery here. And the mystery of God, the, the plan of God, the, the unfolding of all these judgments and the tribulation and all that follow that, which are, of course, much more positive things, uh, those, uh, those mysteries are now uh, being finished up and we're coming to the end of that. So we have this angel here who is uh, giving this message to, to John. John is now being told about some, some of these thunder judgments and uh, is not able to give those to us. He is now hearing this much, though, that in the name of God himself, that there is going to be a, a very close, we're coming very close to the end of the judgments that are coming. Now, he's going to go on to talk about this book. Now, remember, we saw the book in, uh, in the hand of this angel, probably a scroll. They didn't normally have books like we see books today. He has this scroll. And uh, we want to see what's in that scroll, and we're going to find out about that when we finish up chapter 10 tomorrow. So we hope you can join us.